Is there, uh, depending on what happens in Memphis tonight, I mean, there's a chance tomorrow means nothing standings wise. Uh, is there a chance you rest anybody or, or how do you think you might attack that? Well, we have, we have guys who are legitimately banged up right now. Um, I think we just finished six games in nine days, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, Steph didn't practice today. Draymond didn't practice. Uh, Wiggs was limited in practice. Um, Damian Lee um, is getting a workout now. He's out for tomorrow, but he's, you know, starting to to get on the floor a little bit. Eric Pascal practiced fully, um, so he will play. But uh, there's a lot of unknowns right now, given how banged up we are. Hey, Steve Rich with Let's Go Warriors. Just wanted to check in on Andrew Wiggins. You said he was limited today. Uh, what what kind of things is he dealing with? His knee is sore. I can't remember if it's the right or the left, but uh, it's been sore the last week or so. Um, but he's um, he's just been uh, you know, an Iron Man this year, playing in every game. So um, it would be it'd be it'd be nice to be you know be able to give him a night off. Um, and um, obviously a lot of big games coming up and we'll see what the training staff says tomorrow and, and uh, what the circumstances are. You're obviously aware of the stakes Sunday. Um, are you already kind of diving into Memphis and particularly now with Jared Jackson back, what do you think of, of what they have going on? Yeah, we're obviously paying close attention to Memphis. I'll be watching tonight and tomorrow night and uh, they're uh, you know, bigger stronger team with, with Jackson out there. Um, really well coached, good, good, tough team. You know, I admire what Memphis has done the last few years in the draft um, through player development. They've got a really good organization. So, um, you know, they're, um, they're going to be tough one way or the other. Obviously they've got to take care of business tonight and tomorrow to set uh, that game up. And, um, you know, so we're, we're planning for them, but, um, we have a game to play tomorrow night that we're also planning for uh, beforehand. And Steve, just to clarify, you mentioned that Steph and Draymond were banged up. Do you know specifically what it what it is, and is it any yeah, concern Draymond, at all? Draymond's knee uh, and uh, Steph's tailbone is is you know it's still a lingering concern. So th- this was desperately needed. This uh, you know having yesterday off and then today uh, without playing a game, you know six and nine days. He's still wearing the padding back there. He still he still feels the the soreness, and uh, so it's uh, it was good for him to get off his feet uh, the, la- the last two days. Hopefully, he'll be okay tomorrow. Hi, Steve. It's Maria Vidal for Top Deportes in Latin America. Hope you're well. You too, Maria. <laughs> After these back to back against the top teams in the Western Conference and everything the team has been through. What would you say is the most important factor that this Warriors team has inside and, of course, outside of the basketball court? Well, I think health is always the number one factor, um, you know, for for a team going into the playoffs. So we, you know, we really need to avoid any more injuries. Uh, But um, I think the biggest factor is we're on a good run right now. This is the best we've played all season. Um, You know, over the last 18 games, we have the number one net rating in the NBA, that's a quarter of, of the season. That's a pretty good sample size. Um, you know, number one defense in the league during that span, number nine offense and number, number one net rating. That's, those are all really impressive numbers. So I'm really proud of the guys, um, for what they've done, particularly this season. This has been a very difficult season with, uh, the, the COVID regulations and protocols. Um, the, uh, the number of games we've had bunched together, Everybody's tired. Um, so our guys have really shown a lot of grit, and I'm really proud of them. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Coach. All right, I'll go up and, uh, yep, thank you. Yeah, five, five, call. Yep, 520 and 540, they'll be calling. Thank you. We'll be ready for uh, Juan and Jordan Bell up here shortly.